Hi, I'm gonna share with you five tips in order to attract more agents into your business. So stay tuned. And how do I know all this information? It's because it's what allowed me to put over 1,700 students in the WJR Academy and over 1,500 agents in my downline with Real Brokerage and both of those businesses, multiple seven figure revenue streams. So I understand that the name of the game is agent attraction. That's the market that's on fire right now. That's the economy. And you gotta get in on this. So I'm gonna share with you these five tips. Tip number one is get extremely clear on who your ideal agent is. Who do you want to work with and who do you not want to work with? For me, typically, I want to work with someone that it makes on the minimum $150,000, but ideally at least $300,000 a year. Why? Because that tells me a couple things. One is they have money to pay me for my products that I sell with inside of my academy, but two is that means that they're going to close deals so I actually get paid revenue share and they're more likely to actually build out their downline. Whereas if the agent makes less than $50,000 a year, it's not that I don't want to see them succeed. I just think there's other places to help them succeed. But what the whole point is for you in this component is to be really clear on who your ideal target agent is. Number two is you got to create a marketing system and there's really four core pieces to your marketing system. One is what's called warm outreach or known as like a sphere of influence. Number two is about creating content online like you're watching right now. Number three is paid advertising that fills your funnel and puts name, number, and email of real estate agents of hopefully more of your ideal agents into a database system so you can retarget them to your content or to your webinars. And then number four is actually do that thing is use your email list in which you're able to drive and nurture those leads from your paid advertising and move them back to warm up to get to know you want to reach out and have conversations with you. Now this is extremely important to figure out the right sequence in otherwise you'll be wasting a bunch of time and effort and energy and money. And number three for you is to dial in a sales system because once you start creating leads you have to have two major areas. One is an irresistible offer that they want to pay you for your info product, your coaching, your training, your mentor or they want to be able to partner with you in business at Real Brokerage or whatever company you are with in building your downline. Now the second part of your sales system is really four simple steps. Contacts, meaningful conversations, triage appointments where you're having a discovery call to learn about this person. And number four is where you're actually giving a presentation to make your offer, either to sell them a product or to join you in your partnership at the brokerage that you're with. Now what's really important throughout this process is from the time you generate the lead to have the contact and really it starts at this stage, the meaningful conversation is you're beginning to qualify this person that goes back to step one is are they ideal agent or not? And then to the triage call, you're just getting further information to find out by the time you're on the sales call, then the strategy session, you have a higher chance of closing them and monetizing that relationship so that you get to where you're going faster. Now, step number four, or the fourth major component and tip that I have for you today, it's all about fulfillment. We have gone from a one-to-one -one area of the real estate business, where it's one-to-one -one coaching, one-to-one -one mentorship, one-to-one -one business partnerships, to one-to-many. How can I actually leverage my time by having multiple business partners, by having multiple clients in my mentorship? That's what's called group coaching, and there's several ways that you can do this. Now, the couple of layers are number one, which is a digital course, which is done by yourself. You give them the product, they go through, like this is a done by yourself. You're watching this, you're having to digest it, do everything. But the second step is where I spend most of my space is the done with you. And you can do done with you in one to one or one to many, highly recommend one to many. How can you do done with you? You can do partially with digital courses where you tell them, go watch this and report back. You can do it with live group Zoom coaching calls and you can say, get on and you teach some stuff. Or the other is in-person live events. The third area of this fulfillment, which I don't do any of currently, but it is a really great model you can look at is done for you. Types of done for you is like a marketing agency or an ISA type agency or something where you actually fulfill on the thing for them so they don't have to do it. I personally don't do that because it's a lot harder to manage and create and to scale, but with time it makes sense to purchase those companies and probably bring them into our company. And then the very, very fifth is about scalability and leverage. How are you going to scale this? And it's going to happen through two different major assets. One, technology. Right now, if you're watching this on YouTube or something like that, that's a technology asset. It creates leverage. But we also use things like Go High Level, Slack, uh, PandaDoc, different ways that we can leverage our systems, which are repeatable patterns to create predictable results inside of our agent attraction. And then ultimately, though, the, the main thing you got to look at is called human asset. You have to be able to develop human asset of highly qualified people to oversee the patterns inside of your business. So eventually you step out and the money keeps coming in, or at least you can put your attention on higher dollar per activity, uh, per hour activities, so that you're increasing the revenue for the entire company and always go where the margins are bigger. That's why I love high ticket sales inside of the 
real estate space. I'm really good at it. I love teaching people how to do it. And I also get paid handsomely for it. But I also love the fact that I can just bring over, like we just recently did in Louisiana, 49 agents from a brokerage into my downline. I don't know the exact amount that that's going to pay, but somewhere around forty dollars or $50,000 roughly per year. And if that company is with us for 10 years, that's like four to 500000 dollar margin for my business over the next 10 years. So you want to go where those contracts are bigger, long-term, residual, and repetitive for you. Thanks for watching, Dad. Love to hear your comments down below. So drop them in the comments, hit that like button, and share this with someone else. Because right now there's a whole economy and it's called the agent attraction market. People just like you, if you're a real estate agent and you've seen 2023, how much more difficult it has with higher interest rates. I can imagine if you had, and this is the magic number, I've heard it from thousands of agents at this point, a residual $20,000 a month coming in. You can do that in the agent attraction game. I've got people in our mastermind that are doing six figures a month in selling their digital products. Six figures a year in their residual income with their downline. So, Trust me, this is the time to do it. Thank you so much. We'll see you soon.